Hello everyone, my name is Kyle from the Naples Botanical Garden and I'm going to do a quick little video on how to show you guys how to make your own vanilla extract at home. Let's talk a little bit about the vanilla as a plant. So vanilla comes from an orchid and the vanilla orchid makes a small yellow flower that looks just like this. It gets pollinated by a small bee called the melopona bee which then creates a seed pod that looks like this, these green seed pods. Right, that we pick off the plant and age them and dry them. The vanilla plant is native to Mexico. It was smuggled into Madagascar in the early 1800s uh, to be able to grow commercially there, uh, but it's native to Mexico. So when they got it to Madagascar, uh, they had the plant and they were, it's, it's thriving and it's alive and it's doing its thing, it's making a lot of flowers, but it's not making any beans. And they couldn't figure out why this was. But eventually they figured out that uh, the pollinator that pollinates this plant, right, the melatonin bee, is not in Madagascar, it's in Mexico, right? So that's why it wasn't getting any pollination there. So they had to develop a method of hand pollination to be able to reliably get beans and get product for sowing commercially, right? Hand pollination is not that difficult of a process. You basically just use your thumbs to open up the center of this flower part here in the opening without ripping it. And you're using your thumb to push up into the flower, pushing the anthers where the pollen is onto the stigma where the pollen needs to go. And then that ensures pollination. You have to do that for every single flower that's produced in Madagascar. And about 75% of the global vanilla commercial production comes from Madagascar. So it's one of the reasons why it's such an expensive spice for us. Once you do that, once you get pollination, you get your seeds. Um, you can use them as flavoring, right? So there's two main ways you can utilize those beans as flavoring. Uh, you can slice them open very carefully and scoop out the seeds on the inside and use those as a flavoring. So the best example of that is in ice cream. So vanilla ice cream, real flavored vanilla ice cream, has little tiny black specks in it, right? And those are our vanilla seeds. And then the second way is to make a liquid extract, right? The little bottles that we buy in the store to put in cakes and uh, different baked goods. And that is actually soaking the whole bean in an alcohol solution. So either bourbon or vodka is what is typically used to make extract. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right? So I have uh, 10 beans here. Madagascar bourbon style vanilla beans, grade A. You want the best quality vanilla beans you can get. You can find these on Amazon. And this is what they look like. Very thin. Uh, black beans, usually six to eight inches long, right? And then we have to get our vodka, of course, right? So the ratio is 10 beans per 750 milliliters, or three quarters of a liter. Um, so that's one bean per 75 milliliters. That's what we've done in my house for years. What you gotta do is just open it up. I already poured a little bit out because these 10 beans will take up some volume and it'll push some liquid out. So. Just dump maybe like a shot of vodka out and then you'll have enough for room. And then we like to slice them up just a little bit uh, in my house just to make some more room so they're easier to get in there. So all I do is just cutting them uh, so they're easier to fit. And then all you do is just place them in and let them soak. beans, screw the cap on, and then you just have to wait. We let them sit for a year. I have a couple of bottles here. This bottle was started about 10 days ago on the 16th, right? And you can already see that it's taken a nice amber color to it, a nice brown color. So it does start fast. Um, and then this bottle, this is the one that we've been using. Um, this one was from December 22nd, 2017, so over two years ago and it's pretty dark and you can see the beans in the bottom here. So we let it sit for a year before we start using it in any kind of like flavoring and baked goods or something. Um, you could probably do six months if you really wanted to. It's not like it's gonna spoil, so you don't have to worry about it. It just sits in your cabinet. You give it a good shake every three months or something just to kind of get it moving and it'll eventually just turn brown. And that entire bottle Will become vanilla extract so you'll have 750 milliliters of vanilla extract thank you guys for watching i hope you guys stay safe out there we're looking forward to seeing you in the garden again. take care